But baby, it's cold outside. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be recreating this whole look for you guys, you know, the makeup and the pinup. I hope you guys enjoy. So first things first, I'm gonna be applying this BB cream all over my face. Um, it's really the only foundation I use for my face. Next is a concealer, and I usually apply this in these sort of triangular shapes under my eyes because I, I feel it gives you more coverage when it comes to covering up your bags. Next is my favorite part, and it's the eyebrows. Um, I use my Maybelline pencil that's almost running out. I use the brush side to brush up my eyebrows. I actually use it just to line up my eyebrows and then I go in again with a brown eyeshadow and I just apply this wherever I feel I need um, to fill in. So I'm going to be applying this light color on my eyelids. It has sort of like a yellow orangish undertone but I really like it. And then I'm going to be going back in with a darker shade. It's like a brown sort of. And I'm going to be applying this with a blending brush. I'm also going to go ahead and apply that dark brown under my eyes as well. So for my lashes, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal mascara. Um, there's two sides to it. There's a fiber mascara and then a black voluminous mascara. What that fiber mascara does is just give a little extra length to your eyelashes. You can get the same effect if you grab a Q-tip, you dip it in powder and apply it over your lashes and then you take your mascara. You will pretty much get the same effect. So I'm going to apply my Birchbox eyeliner very lightly for the fact that it's very pigmented and so I don't want to be too dark on the eyes. So I go ahead and apply the setting powder under my eyes. I apply a little of the concealer on the bridge of my nose just to highlight it a little bit. Now for my lips, I just applied some chapstick and the Rimmel London Color Burst. I don't really know what color this is, but it's a natural shade. Now my hair is at an old twist out, that's why it's a little elongated and not in its coils, but it was easier for me to be able to work with my hair this way. So you're going to take like a front section of your hair and pull it forward and just kind of pull the rest of your hair back. Once you take the front piece, start rolling it like if you were to be rolling your hair in rolos. I don't, I don't know how you say that in English, but rolos. And just pin it according to the shape you want it. You know, you're going to go back and take pins out and put them back to, to fix it the way you want it until you get the perfect bump in the front for you. Now I go ahead and apply some of my Argan oil cream. You guys know which one it is. I use it like in all my videos. And I start applying it on the sides, you know, places where I'm gonna brush my hair. So I'm gonna start pulling my hair up into a ponytail and leaving a piece of hair out. You'll see why. I actually went ahead and already braided it, but that is something optional if you wanna braid it or not. Then of course I grab my mini brush and I start brushing up on the sides. Just keep in mind that I did go back a couple times and fix the bump in the front. The bump in the front. Until I was satisfied with the shape. Now I'm going to take that piece that I left out and I'm going to start wrapping it. Even though it totally blends in with my curls but whatever. And I always like taking little pieces on the side of my head just so my face doesn't look so plain. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment if you guys want to see more or if there's any requests you guys have.